Hello again, this is um, my review of the Big Stick 60. I converted it to electric, and with all the tips I got online, how to set it up, this is the end result. I'm uh, very happy with uh, the way it came out. The plane weighs about 6.1 pounds, um, and um, it's set up to fly on six cells, uh, 6,000 milliamp battery. It goes in there, put it towards the back, and I get the balance just perfect. I'm very happy about that. That's just some foam I put down there to help uh, when I can push the compress the battery down and it kind of stays in place with the Velcro doesn't go anywhere. Using the DX8 with the telemetry system, and I want to install that and uh, monitor onboard systems when it's flying and all that, so that should be interesting. Uh, the build was actually quite easy, a lot of fun, no issues. I just knew it'd be uh, the balance would be the issue, so but that was all worked out. I've got built-in uh, flapperons, which I do on pretty much all my planes this size. Uh, definitely um, helps slow them down when you need it. And of course, different weight settings for high, low, etc. That's uh, a big, nice, pretty plane, and I can't wait to get it up in the air. Uh, let me just kind of pop this off real quick. You'll see inside, um, there's a 7 channel receiver uh, for Tabo servos. I have those. And there's the flight pack battery in the back there. So I can, um, which helped me with the CG. Sorry about the focus, this isn't uh, the best camera, but um, kind of get the idea. Uh, other than that, a lot of room. Um, kind of got everything in place. I use something called Shugu. I use that to hold all my wires in place and like the battery back there in place. And I actually enjoy using that stuff. It works really well. And uh, that's pretty much my quick review of the Big Stick 60 converted to uh, electric. And um, Oh, let's see the wheels. I've got three and a half inch wheels in the back and three and a quarter in the front. I have those lying around. Um, I'm using a 1410 prop. Of course, the issue is clearance, so hopefully that clears it okay. Looks like I have like about a maybe an inch clearance off the ground, so that's why I put the bigger tires on there. And plus, you know, you land on, you know, you don't always have a nice smooth runway to land on, so that helps. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and uh, I am looking forward to getting this thing in the air. Thanks.